When I think about how I want to live my life, I imagine my life with as few problems as possible now and in the future. This includes my physical health, my mental health, my financial well-being. So I basically do everything I can do today to achieve that for myself in the future. So today I'm going to share eight simple habits I do on a regular basis to make my life easier. My first habit is that I use a vibrating alarm clock that is separate from my phone. I used to use my phone as an alarm clock and sometimes I still do when I'm traveling just to have one less thing to pack. I find that I have a bad habit of scrolling as soon as I wake up, especially if I'm not in a time crunch. There are so many studies that show that that's probably the worst way to start your morning. So I like to make sure that I have no distractions so I can get my day started faster and on a better note. The main reason why I switched to a vibrating alarm as compared to a sound alarm is that I eventually grew to severely dislike the sound that would wake me up. Even if I switched the sound every few months, the same problem would happen. And eventually I tried a vibrating alarm and it ended up working out really well for me. So for me, the separate vibrating alarm just starts my morning off the best way that it could. That brings me to my second habit, which is that I work out in the morning. I go to the gym very regularly four times a week. And on the other three days, I may or may not do some low impact exercises like yoga or Pilates. I might go for an easy run. It really depends on how my body feels. I prioritize being active and staying in shape because I want to be able to know that at any point I can do any physical activity I want and not get hurt. And I want to be able to do that for as long as possible. I also love going to my gym. It's a Muay Thai gym, so there are classes. And I take bags class, I take sparring class and pads class. I also run and lift too. But I don't want my day to revolve around this chunk of two hours where I'm commuting, working out and commuting back. So I like to get it out of the way in the morning so I have the rest of the day to myself. It feels like I am saving time because otherwise I would not have gotten up that early. And it makes me feel accomplished because I've already crossed off an important thing on my to-do list. Working out in the morning also just gives me a huge rush of endorphins. I always feel refreshed after a workout. Sometimes I'm dead tired, but I still feel refreshed. But also that's my habit based off of my schedule. And the best time for you to work out would be the best time that fits into your schedule. Before I move on to my next habit, if you're enjoying this video so far, please like and subscribe and let's continue. In the realm of health, I also cut out sugary drinks. As a kid, I loved to drink soda to the point where I would crave it and it would be all I could think about if I wasn't doing an activity. The funny thing is I used to not be allowed to drink these drinks regularly. I would only have them at birthday parties or at a friend's house. Maybe if my mom treated me. I'm convinced that the chemicals in these drinks were what my 10 year old brain succumbed to resulting in this addiction. It wasn't until later I realized that these companies have actual chemists to make these types of snacks and drinks as addicting as possible. Ever since I learned and internalized the adverse effects of sugar, which include inflammation, heart disease, high cholesterol, to name a few, I started cutting back on sugary drinks. I started being much more intentional with pretty much any other drink except for seltzer water or flat water. Now I've gotten to a point where I don't prefer sugar in my drinks. Don't get me wrong, I still consume sugar and I love sugar, but I now choose to eat it instead of drink it. To me, it's not worth the health risks if I'm not actively enjoying it. And that's not to say I don't occasionally enjoy a can of Coke or Dr. Pepper, which was my vice when I was 10. But now when I drink these types of drinks, I find that I can't even finish a whole can anymore. On the topic of health, every year I make sure to schedule my yearly doctor's appointments. I go to the eye doctor, I take my physical, I do my dental exams and dental cleaning, all of that stuff. Not only do I feel accomplished after I go to the doctor because I feel like I'm properly adulting, but it gives me peace of mind that I am all healthy and nothing is wrong. Even if something is wrong, then I know I'm being proactive in taking care of my body. I know it's a privilege because I have insurance, so I, I am able to schedule these doctor's appointments quite easily. And if you are in the US and you have insurance, Take advantage of the insurance because it's so much easier to be proactive with your health rather than reactive. My next habit is that I bring a bottle of water and a snack every time I leave my house. Whenever I leave my apartment, I'm generally gone for a pretty long period of time. I like to stay hydrated throughout the few hours I'm out, so I always bring a bottle of water with me. Otherwise, I would have to pay three to five dollars to buy that water outside. And the same with a snack. I can never really predict when I feel hungry, 
But if in the moment I feel hungry and I just want to not be hungry, then that's where my snack comes in and I can just eat it. Sometimes it's nice to just be able to pick up a treat outside, which I do also. And whenever I do, I'm very intentional about enjoying it. It's just nice to have options. And if I have a snack and a water, then I have the option to save money. My next habit is whenever I want something, I always wait a few weeks before I think about purchasing it again. I've just had experiences time and time again where I've fallen in love with an item, I've purchased it, and a few months later, it didn't bring me as much joy as when I first discovered the item. It's happened enough times where I've now learned that I should never purchase anything right away that I feel a very strong pull toward. Even when I add things to my wish list and it's been on there for a couple of months, usually after a month or two, the item has lost its appeal for me. And that's how I know that I'm being very intentional with what I buy. My next habit is that I save for retirement. One thing I'm glad I learned pretty early on is the power of compound interest. That basically means anything I save and invest today will be worth much more than the same amount of money that I save and invest 10 years from now, for example. Of course, that's highly dependent on me investing the money in the right funds. And I have a video on investing here but I take full advantage of my company 401k match. That's primarily the way I've been able to bulk up my net worth over the last three years. I also maximize my Roth IRA, first by directly contributing to it, and then eventually through the backdoor method. Those are my main two methods of saving for retirement. I also have money in a regular brokerage account, just in case I want to take some time off, Maybe I'll use that fund to retire early or I'll make some big purchase with it. These are all things that I prioritized as soon as I started making money because I learned that investing as early as possible is the best way to build your foundation financially. My next habit is I write things down. We all have so many things going on in our lives. And I know that for me, there's a 50% chance that if I don't write something down, I will not remember it when I need to. Making a note of something just takes the mental load off and I no longer have to worry about it. I use my notes app and I have a missing miscellaneous note where I just have different headings for different parts of my life that I have to remember. This usually comes in handy as I'm prepping my grocery list for the week or as I'm thinking about what household items I have to refill or replenish. And there you have it. Those are my eight habits that make my life better, both in terms of health and financial well-being. If you like this video, you might also like this video here on luxury and designer purchases I've made that are worth every cent. 